Okay, here we are, Metal Talk, and it gives me great pleasure to be here with the truly wonderful rock goddess who are back for unfinished business after a 32 year absence with the original lineup of uh, Judy Turner, Tracy Lamb, and Jodie Turner, who's right here, right in front of me. <laughs> Good to see you both. And obviously, Judy's right, upstairs um, too, doing her drumming at the moment. And, um, but first, tell me about the reasons why Rock Goddess decided to reform. Well, I think it was mainly because Julie became available, you know, because Julie sort of, um, she hadn't played for about 25 years, she got wed and she had a family, and, uh, um, which was great, and uh, so she became available to, to, she wanted to do it again, and so we just thought, well you just thought, didn't you? That it, was, it, it was basically, <clears throat> I wanted the original lineup. Julie had had a family, and when the kids were young, that was not an option, obviously, mm -hmm. being a mum. Kids are grown up. So it was kind of like we, me and the manager, father, had a chat and, well, let's see. Knew she'd be straight on board, because yeah. <laughs> we'd always been in touch. And then, surprise, surprise, she was. And it was like, mm. OK, let's mm. do it. And for a second, Julie, you mentioned she hadn't played drums for 25 years. So was that a hard learning curve for her to get behind that drum kit again? No. She was just like riding a bike. Yeah, it is a. I was going to say the same <laughs> phrase, but yeah. I mean, you obviously have to dust the cobwebs off, yeah. but yeah. No. I'm talking of dusting the cobwebs off, this is like um, it's your first UK gig in 32 years, but you did play a couple of dates in Spain a month yeah. ago in Barcelona, Madrid. Yeah. And how was that for you? Great. It, it, it was. That first night was quite magical because it, it was very special. It was. We're back. And you never really know until you're there, the audience is there, and then you hit that first call, and then it's, it's pretty special. And was it about pre gig nerves, anxiety before you went on after such a long absence? I always get nervous, I get mm. quite nervous, I go quite quiet yeah. and moody. And <laughs> so, you fans of the original What Goddess album will find it a bit surprising you're a bit quiet because obviously you've got a very raunchy voice. <laughs> yeah, no, I just. I brood. <laughs> I wasn't nervous at all with the Spanish gigs, but I'm yeah. more nervous tonight because I think oh, it's, really? you know, it's, it's a bit more special. Oh, London, London is the hometown yeah, gig, exactly. and obviously you've got, yeah. you've got the rock goddess history is from around London. Exactly. You know, and um, fair enough, going right back to your history, first time I come aware of rock goddess was Krang issue number five, five. Uh, under ready section, and you young girl was 16, I think Judy was yeah. 14 at the time. Yeah. And so, what, what was that like, you know, period in a, a national magazine? Seeing your faces in there for the first time. That young, oh, so exciting. I loved it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah really exciting. Mm. You can't believe it, really. It's like, is this really happening? Yeah. And it, it was. <laughs> and, it's like, and it's like it's happening all over again, but, uh, yeah. but obviously we're a bit older. <laughs> <laughs> still looking good, still looking good. <laughs> and uh, let's talk about the history of Rock Goddess, because 82 you played uh, Reading Festival, headlined by Iron Maiden, and that was before your album came out as well. So Yes. yes. So that, that must be an nerve-wracking experience. What was your Very memories of that day? Mm. Big stage, wasn't it? So hot that day, yeah. I'll never forget. It, it was yeah. sweltering. It was. And, yeah, it's a big occasion. It's a bit, we were so young. Yeah. Um, but we I rose to it. Yeah, I think the fans make you feel at ease. You know? Well, you say, you say that because I, I, I was too young to be there myself, but um, Reading Festival had a notorious history of bands being bottled. So really? We, so obviously you got away with it that day, didn't you? That. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Bottles with wee wee in Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stagnant beer. <laughs> yeah. No, we no. didn't get any of that, thankfully. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awful. The curse of kind to you. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I think, you know. Oh, that could hurt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think your performance, you know. And but back in the 80s, it was a different sort of climate, you could say, in terms of uh, girls in rock. It's a bit different, a lot different now. Mm. But, you know, did you sort of uh, feel victims of sexism back in the 80s? There wasn't many girl rock bands, only yourself and girls' school, maybe run away from America. I, I really didn't experience it myself. Oh, hi, Judy, if you want to come and join either, us, please do. <laughs> it was there, and I just it went, we went over aware our heads at the time, but yeah. looking back. We've just yeah, been joined by it, Judy Turner as well, so hi, oh. Judy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Good to see you. We've just been talking about you, actually. I don't know if your ears are burning, but we were just saying about. Nice how, things? Or oh, nice things, but how was it for you to like, learn the drums again, being away for so long? Uh, you can ask this for yourself now. <laughs> um, it just it just felt exactly like it was thir thirty years ago. It was really yeah. good. So my son's a drummer, and he had his uh, drum kit set up. So yeah. I thought I'll have a go. 
It was like... So when the table's turning, he's telling you, Mum, stop bleeding racket upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> I like that. And obviously, uh, one of your famous venues you used to play at was the Marquee Club in Wardour Street. And yep. Much Miss much, Club. And what was your members of the Marquee? You, yourself. Yeah. Absolutely gutted when that shut. I mean, that's legendary. Yeah. Um, we did some fantastic gigs there. I do remember it being so hot at points that I passed out at the mic and came back mm. again and thought, I hope I was playing. <laughs> and in that, that little window of, it was so hot. It was wow. I mean, the walls yeah. used to drip. That's right, yeah, it's dripping kind of yeah, sweat, basically. It's a yeah. rock and roll club, it's dressing rooms, yeah. just this sea of graffiti. It's just such a great place. And did you see many bands yourself there? Oh, oh loads. Yeah. I mean, you used to, we were talking about this the other day when we were younger. We used to open sounds or whatever, go to the gig pages. You just went straight to the marquee. Mm. And at that time, there was three metal bands on that week. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you know, it's fantastic. I think there's like a famous sort of flyer floating around of, sort of the later day lineup of What Goddess, and the same week as like Guns N' Roses there, and, yeah, 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 and, yeah, and, yeah. and the same week as What Goddess, yeah, you know. And then everyone piled out of there and went to the San Maritz. <laughs> yeah. It's just full of history as well, it's yeah. a shame it's gone. Mm. Yeah, and how do you feel like the current climate of music is different now to what it was back in 82, 83? Do you feel it's moved on or not at all, really, in some ways? Metal is mm. obviously very diverse now everything mm. black metal, yeah. death metal, all across the spectrum to sort of the wobbum stuff and whatever. I like that diversity. It's it's really broad now. And do you listen to much modern music yourself? Or are you sort of still stuck with the classics a bit like myself? <laughs> I do I do like I mean I like um, some me bands like God Forbid are one of my favourites and they're yeah. really quite heavy but I I do like the heavier stuff. Yeah. But I still want to put Metallica on. Yeah. <laughs> Def Leppard. Def Leppard, yeah. Of course, what got a sporty Def Leppard at one stage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Back, and, it? and obviously, Rick Allen's a young drummer himself, so did he give you any tips at a young age? No, not really, but they were very supportive, weren't they, when we were yeah. on tour? They were ever so nice. And just. And their crew were. So yeah. Nice. Just the whole gang. Mm. Made. We Def Leppard were made them the same. Yeah. And, and I didn't like Eddie much. <laughs> 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 That used to frighten me. So sorry, like a bit of a wuss. <laughs> Any of yours about absence? Like you know, obviously you sort of walked away from the rebel career. You know, some of you had families or moved to Spain or whatever. And you see the bands like Iron Maiden and Def Leppard making such a big name for themselves. Did you at any time think that could have been us? Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, you can't look back. Yeah, yeah you can't. Well, you can't. Yeah, you can't, you can't dwell on things. You know, no, just got to move forward. There's. We've done lots of other things, so there's no regrets. It's just uh, great to have this opportunity right. to do it again together. Maybe things are for a reason. And yeah. you, please describe to me your first jamming session when you first got back together in a room. Oh, oh, first oh. rehearsal. Yeah. It's quite surreal. It was. A bit surreal. emotional. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a few tears. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's special. So obviously there must be doubts there before you, you did it first before that first rehearsal. There must be doubts no. when it first clicked, it just clicked in, did it? Yeah, it just yeah. I mean, I had no yeah. doubts no at doubts all. At all. That chemistry I had a feeling it would have yeah. was yeah. is is and was so strong and it does sound <coughs> cheesy to say that. Yeah. But it is pretty special. And once we got in that room we thought, oh no, this is it. And uh, you know, just mentioned the dates in Spain, I was quite surprised when I looked at the set list. You've put in quite a lot of new material in that set. Mm. Now, is it all new material? Is that some stuff that's been left in the faults for many years? Uh, well, it's a bit of a mix. There's brand new stuff that I wrote a few years yeah. ago, so it is a bit of a mix. And then obviously stuff that we've had on albums and stuff like that. It's, it's, we're not going to please everyone because people have gone, why aren't you doing this? Why? Yeah. But unless you, you're on stage for four hours, you do have to make a decision. But I think we've got a good balance. Yeah. And obviously, obviously these days of YouTube and internet, you know, you're playing sort of a dangerous field here by playing those new numbers. Because um, you are working on an album at the moment, which I think is going to be called Unfinished Business. I don't think no. still, are you going to change it? OK, yeah. good. We don't need to yeah. tell me that yet now. But. We've got a track, the same, the same name, Unfinished oh, Business, right. but we've yeah. decided to uh, call it something else, which we haven't oh. quite decided, decided yet. Yeah. That's good, the fans can play a guessing game for the next few months. Yeah. <laughs> and who's going to be producing the album? It's produced by Jamie Hill, who's a 
produced by me and someone else. Mm -hmm. um, whether another producer comes in at the end, that's still to be decided. And I talk about producers, Fick Mal, is it Fick Mal? I hope I pronounced yeah. his name correctly. You produced your first album. He said he passed away in '89. I know. Sort of a legendary producer, stuff like Motorhead Girls, School, oh, plus exactly. The Who, Live at Leeds, and look. What's your memories of Fick? Oh, oh, fun. We had such fun in the studio. He's so such a lovely man, and uh, and it's great because I'm I'm in touch on Facebook with his daughter Jodie. Oh. Uh, Jodie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we remember her when she was little, little, about two years old when we recorded the album. But Fick was great. And uh, he's got a, he had a good temperament for that kind of thing. It's very calm. Mm -hmm. A dry sense of humour. Yeah, well. very dry. Yeah. Yes, very mm. dry. <laughs> um, yeah, no, only good memories of him. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic, yeah. I sort of mentioned earlier, Jodie, you, you, you have got this really staunch, raunchy voice, you know, sort of a, can make a man's testicles explode, basically. <laughs> <laughs> that is the aim. That's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> that was my sole goal. But when you sort of had a, you know, your youngsters, when you were young and you had girly arguments, especially you as a sister, you know, did you ever feel the wrath of Jodie's voice? So, if I could intercede, I think you should mention the fact you had no voice in Spain. Yes, yes, I was ill. Oh, so and it only got worse. <laughs> I, a, lot yeah. of, a lot of other bears would have yeah. cancelled. Yeah. You, mean, you spoke into the family question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had to make that point. Yeah, I mean, it, I was really ill. I mean, yeah. you can hear that. I mean, I would like that. And you were ducking everything. Yeah, it was. Oh, it came across very well, actually. Very tricky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She did so really that, well. Yeah. She really... did well because she was terrible, terrible flu. Yeah. Really bad flu. Didn't you, babes? And it just got worse when I yeah. got home. Then mm -hmm. I got really. I'm obviously was psychologically yeah. battling it off, but my voice was. So you've got more gigs lined up the rest of the year. You're doing a few festivals. Hard Rock Hell here in England. And I believe you've got some European festivals lined up. Can you tell us more about them? All right, in, t in just, I think, two, two and a bit weeks, we're yeah. doing uh, Sweden Rock. Of course. Which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we're doing all our firsts again together, you know. Because yeah. mm. the, 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 mm. uh, the only festival that I've ever played with Rock Goddess was the Reading Festival mm. in 82. So this will be our first festival together again in 30, 32, 33 years yeah, again, yeah. so we're doing our <coughs> first again, so it's like we're being re in a way, so it's... And the great uh, thing about Sweden Rock, you meet up with a lot of bands we would have met previously yes, in 82, yes, so yes. we meet up with a lot of old familiar faces. Yeah. If we can get there the yeah. day before yeah. we play, we're hoping to see Def Leppard the night before, yeah. And Fantastic. there's some other great bands on as well that we'd like to mm. see. Sorry, there was. I didn't know what that noise was. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got us up for time scale for when the album could be out. Is it going to be early next year? Or? Difficult to it say. It depends on the record deal, basically. Yeah. So, it's a bit difficult to say at this point. Hopefully, we'll yeah. Hopefully this year. Can't Hopefully. say anymore. And what's been your reaction from fans like, on social media? You know, to know oh. when you announce what goes back, when it's overdrive on our website. You know. Overwhelming. Yeah. yeah. Overwhelming. Very, very, yeah, overwhelming. That's the best Shut way to say it. Yeah. yeah. And that's what really seals it, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course. If I can yeah. interesting again, maybe you should mention headbangers in Germany. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Bouziers in France. <laughs> yeah, and, then, and then Hard Rock Hell. And with um, Martin reckons he wants us to put in another date here. Great. Yeah. I'm not good with that. But there you go. Oh, yeah. And Headbangers Open Air, I've been there myself, it's a fantastic festival, it's in yeah. Germany, it's full of German old rockers with their patch jackets yeah. and their mallets yeah. and their moustaches, yeah. and it's, in the, oh, it's in the stable actually, the stage's in the stable, and the actual ticket yeah, to the effect yeah. is actually made of metal, so uh, anybody from England thinking of going, go to that festival, uh, believe That's me, it's a fantastic weird. festival, it's a great atmosphere. And we're headlining a festival in France. Do you are, yes, yeah. yes. Um, on Halloween, wow. which will be fab. Well, what, what goddess? Tracy, Jodie, Cheers. Julie, it's fantastic to have you back. Tonight I'm going to be a 14 year old little boy down the front. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm going to let my hair down for some good old heavy metal rock and roll. Well, goddess, it's great to have you back. All the best for the future. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank Cheers. You. Bye. Yeah. Mark, thank